Hey everybody, welcome to day six of Ralston's Big Adventure. So this morning we are headed back to the, um, where the where I left off the trail yesterday on Highway 76 at Dix Creek Gap. Um, I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A for breakfast and then uh, start the 40 mile journey to uh, Franklin, North Carolina. Um, today's plan is to go either 12 or 16 miles. Um, there's a shelter at both of those points. And so when I get to 12, I'll reassess and think um, whether or not I can keep going. Um, more than likely I can get to the 16 mile point, but you just never know. Um, it's a lot of elevation gain today, not much decline in elevation. So um, that may play a factor, but who knows? But that's the plan today. Um, but yeah, I'll update you guys when I get to the trail. Also, I'm a little bit ahead of schedule on my videos. So today is um, Saturday, April 30th, and it is 7.23 in the morning. Um, I don't think this video is probably gonna air till sometime in the first week of May. But anyway, um, that's what day it is today. All right, so here I am in the middle of the woods. Um, we're, I'm about probably a mile and a half outside of, uh, probably a mile out of Dix Creek Gap going into North Carolina. Um, but uh, the plan today, well, the plan was to reassess at Muskrat uh, Shelter of whether or not to do Indian, uh, standing Indian shelter. But uh, I ran into my buddy Damien here and uh, he has convinced me to keep going on to standing Indian shelter which is at the 16 or 17 mile mark today on the trail. So we're gonna push it onto there. Um, but yeah, yeah, Damien's a cool guy. He's uh, doing halfway to Harper's Ferry. You're going to Harper's Ferry, aren't you? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, met Damien a couple days ago. He's from originally from Argentina, lives in Orlando now. Um, really cool guy to hike with. Um, but yeah, so that's our plan today. And then, um, yeah, I think that's all the updates I have for you this morning. Um, but I'll let you know. Oh, we do have a state line crossing today, which is going to be a huge morale booster. Um, that'll be at the 78 mile mark, which we should be there by midday. Um, but yeah, that's that's today's plan. I know, and it's just like, I mean, you just want to take every single bit of it in. So the trick to uphills is. Um, Slow and steady. That's what makes uphill so much easier um, than um, doing it just hardcore stop, hardcore stop. So slow and steady will get you there just as fast, more probably more efficiently, and you'll have some more gas in the tank to recover after you get to the top. So the morning has just been absolutely amazing so far. The weather has been super nice. Um, and like really, really like cool temperatures. I mean, just, and the climbs have not been too bad. So today has gone much, much better than I really expected. But I think I do have standing Indian to go over today, which goes up to about 5,000 feet of elevation which is I think about a 2,000 foot incline of, over the course of the entire day. So that's probably not gonna be too fun, but that just is what it is at this point. Also, Damien stopped to finish his snack and I just kept going. So that's why you don't see him anymore, but look how gorgeous this is. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. So, I love coming off the trail, coming back onto the trail after I've been at the house or like off the trail for a little bit because I always have a really good breakfast. That keeps me energized and charged till lunch so I don't have to stop and have a snack. So like this morning, I got a Chick-fil-A biscuit and a cup of coffee, which was so good and has just absolutely powered me through this morning hike. Um, let's see, it's 10.30, 
and I've already gone about five, five and a half miles, something like that. Um, we're getting really close to North Carolina, which is gonna be freaking awesome to get into our second state on the trail. I don't know, I'm pretty excited about it. So anyway, yeah. So I still don't have a trail name, which I'm really wanting one because of what I'm about to tell you. So Damien informs me that last night at the hostel that a bunch of them stayed at, they kept calling me Rollin, which I think they think that's my first name. And that's what I'm hoping they think. And if you've never heard my name, I get it. My name's hard to remember, it's hard to say, it's hard to get right, but they kept calling me Rollin. And so I was like, well, that's not my trail name. And he was like, I don't know, man. It's kind of sticking. So I'm gonna veto that hard if people think that that's my trail name. But that's kind of what people are calling me right now. So just wanted to give you that update. But just know that that's not what it's gonna be. It will be something else. So yeah, there's the update on the trail name. All right, well, here's a cool little campsite that I found along the trail. It's gorgeous. And there are some freaking loud hikers over there somewhere. But yeah, really pretty spot. So like I said, Damien totally convinced me of changing up today's plan. But what he really didn't realize was he changed up my entire plans for the next couple days. So with us making it to um, Standing Indian Shelter tonight, basically that means that the next, let me think about this for a second, 25 miles into Franklin are pretty much all downhill which means we can get there pretty early on Monday. Plus it's a descent the whole day basically. So I was gonna zero in Franklin, but it's only another 26 or 27, I think, to Nantahala, which would be the next road crossing from Franklin. So because Monday is basically gonna be a Nero, which is near zero, day what i'm going to do is is take the rest of the afternoon in franklin off go to a hostel hang out with all my friends and then tuesday morning start the hike into nanahala be at nanahala by wednesday night and then take a zero on thursday so that's the plan right now i think it's actually a pretty good one it also keeps me it, it puts me ahead of schedule i think well, not that I really had one to begin with, but um, I think I like that plan better. So that's what I'm, gonna, gonna, what I'm going to do. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update on where my head's at, you know, and planning out the next couple of days. Yeah, I am loving this section of the trail. So far today has been pretty steadily uphill, but not too bad, not too steep. Today's been really, really good so far. And the sun's not too hot yet. Yeah, this has been perfect. So that peak through the trees right there, I think is sharp top, which is where I'm hoping to have lunch today, which I'm very excited about. Um, Cause there's apparently a pretty good view up there where I can sit and eat lunch and look out at the view, but it's also in North Carolina. So we're getting so close to the border crossing. All right, check out this view. How about it? Oh, is that, am I in North Carolina? I'm telling you, super proud of myself. 78 miles of Georgia, out of the way, North Carolina. I don't know how many miles you have, but to crush you too so big day today well i just feel like a million dollars right now i hiked 78 miles through georgia and i know a lot of people have done a lot more than me but dang it feels good to have one state under your belt all right we got this funky tree 
in the middle of our path have this campsite up here but check out that view through the trees dang so the last mile has pretty much been straight up the top of this mountain this, huh pretty much yeah yeah we're both chugging along but uh uh this is sharp top and uh we're getting so close to the top where we can finally stop and rest eat some lunch and make our way on to standing indian shelter All right, so I'm at Sharp Top here in North Carolina. This is one of the first kind of peaks that you come to when you come across the line. Um, but already absolutely stunning. I think that lake right there is Lake Chattoog, um, which is near Hiawassee and Hayesville, North Carolina. Um, but yeah, this is, these are the views that I'm gonna have, that I will get to get every day. I can, I can live I can live with this. Even though that was friggin' steep. This is this is really nice. So lunch today. We've got my pepperoni and uh, tortilla, which I'm gonna call a pizza burrito. That's not a thing. I'm trademarking that. Don't copyright it. If you do, you owe me a ten percent royalty. Nothing nothing less. Um, and a slim gym. All right, so today's trail for the rest of the day goes across that ridge line through there, through the trees, and then eventually ends, that's Standing Indian, I'm almost positive right there through the trees. And so I won't get to the top, I'll get somewhere, somewhere near the bottom from where you can see on the screen. But anyway, that's where the shelter is, but I'll just follow that ridge line across. So I'm hoping for some just easy up and downs the rest of the day till I get to the shelter. So, I'm already, like, maybe three miles, I don't know, I'm not far into North Carolina, and I'm already higher than the highest point on the AT in Georgia, which, you know, sounds like, oh, like Georgia must, be, must have been so easy. No. There are two reasons why Georgia was super freaking hard. One, it was the beginning, and every time you start something, you're going to have to get used to it. And it's, so that's what makes that hard. Two, with North Carolina, what I've realized by looking at these elevation maps is, is you get up and you stay up. You come down every once in a while into these like kind of deep valleys, but you can pretty much ride ridges for a long time, which is so nice. Georgia is not that way. You come all the way up and you go all the way down pretty much every time you cross a mountain, which sucks. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of been the major difference so far, but I will say the climbs out of up and down when you do come down in North Carolina are going to be much, much steeper. But, uh, but the good thing is, is like I said, you get up and you stay up. I mean, come on, this just gets better and better as we go. So, I've run across this interesting fella. And I'm really not sure. You know, I'm almost positive that's like some sort of mule or donkey or something. But it could be a bear. I've never really seen bear poop before. But that could be. But I don't know. Comment below if you know what that is. Alright, made it to Chunky Gal Trail. I don't know who named it that, but uh, it's kind of rude. Shortcut to Franklin, 17 miles east. Now we don't take shortcuts here, we go the long way. All 
I can walk a trail like this for years. I mean, it's on top of a ridge, so smooth, so soft on your feet. Sun's just like not out. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. And it's green. Like, check this out. Like, this is basically what the trail has looked like for the last, I don't really know how long. But man, it is just, this could not be better. All right, through those trees right there, far back. That's the Smokies. All right, there it is, Standing Indian. That's the highest peak between here and Franklin. And we're staying about halfway up at the night in a shelter. So just kind of a big climb tomorrow, and it's all downhill for the next two days into Franklin. We love that. Okay, we are super close to the shelter. I'm so ready to be there. I'm pooped. It's been like a 17-mile day, pretty much all uphill, into Standing Guinea from Dick Street Gap. Ooh, tough day, good day, but tough day. Okay, I really am gonna put this, I'm, about, I'm recording. Everybody's watching me. Um, so, I went to hang my bear bag, and uh, this is so embarrassing. I got my cord stuck in the tree. That's uh, my paracord right there. I tried to throw it over that limb and threw the whole thing, and now it's st stuck. So, that's well, probably not coming down, but we're gonna try our best. Okay, so I found this stick, and I'm just trying to like get it through those knots and pull it down. It's uh, not working out all right. It's coming, hold on. Can I jump and get this? <laughs> All right, so I was able to get my bear hang down. Um, and one of the guys that's, that I'm camping with up here, um, he's got a Kevlar bag. And he was like, why don't you just put it in my bag? He said, bears are not going to, like, get through that. And I was like, well, cool. I just, you guys have all made fun of me. and I look like an idiot for nothing. But, um, but anyway, yeah, so... Um, pride's a little hurt, pride's a little hurt, but, um, other than that, very good, um, it's been a really, really good night at camp. There's about six of us through hikers, we're all going to stay in the shelter because it's supposed to storm through the night, um, probably into tomorrow, so we're all going to stay in the shelter, um, kind of nervous about it just because of, like, mice, um, but... I really, really, really do not want to sleep in the rain in my tent. Um, but we've had some ukulele tonight. Um, had a good dinner. Had a really good, had really great conversations. I think I'm forming a tramley um, with some of these people, which is really cool, which is like a trail family of just hikers who end up hiking together. Um, they all found out about my YouTube channel, though, so... They want to start calling me Celebrity, um, which I kind of hate. It's not the worst name in the world, but I kind of hate it because I just don't see myself as, like, a celebrity. But, um, oh, well, whatever. Um, but it was funny today. Uh, I ran into Punisher again. So he's he, section, he threw hiked last year except for the Georgia section. So he's finishing up in the next couple of days. And uh, he, he saw me tonight at the shelter, and he was like, he was like, I met some people today who know you. I was like, what do you mean, no me? And he was like, yeah. He said, they're teachers at your school, I guess. Um, they said they ran into you on trail. Or they said that they taught you or something. Or they work at the school and they know you. And he didn't know who it was. And I was like, well, what did they look like? And he didn't know. So if you ran into a guy named Punisher or looked or like a guy with a beard, black hat, orange shirt, um, and you taught at Union County High School, throw a comment in there. Um, just to say, oh, that was us, because um, I was really, really curious to know. But uh, and I guess you watch my YouTube videos because you 
um, you knew that somebody had called me Blair. And so, um, so I know you watch my YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, so, but it's, this is, I'm on day six and this has already been an incredible, incredible, incredible experience. Um, I'm, I'm like just blown away by the people I've met and the things I've gotten to do. And yeah, this is, this is what we came here for. But anyway, um, tomorrow's going to be kind of a long day. It's about a 16 mile day. We're going to get a, we're going to hit a hundred miles tomorrow, which is, I'm pumped about. Um, but yeah, I'm going to brush my teeth and probably go to bed, but, uh, update you guys in the morning as always happy trails. And, um, thank you so much for following along. Um, your support has truly, truly meant, um, the world to me on this trip. But anyway, have a good one. All right, we are going to be cozy tonight <laughs> in this shelter. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're having to hang the bear bag again for other people at the shelter. And uh, we, I think, have it a little bit, but we got it a little twisted up. So it twisted around itself. So Bryce is having to walk around the fire to untwist it. <laughs> we will figure this out. This is our first time, so... Yeah, stay tuned. All right, mission accomplished. We have it tied off to this tree. We're hoping a bear doesn't come along and knock that down, but we have it in the air. So it's gotta count for something. Hey y'all, this is Ralston here. I'm hiking the AT, not only just for the adventure and the thrill and the fun of hiking the AT, but I'm also hiking for Isaiah 117 House, which is an organization dedicated to helping foster kids at the point of, of time that they are taken out of their house um, by the Department of Childhood Services. Um, they have a great place set up for them to be able to go and where they're loved and cared for. And so if you have time today and want to make a donation, visit the link below and it will take you to the, to the donation page. Thank you so much for following along and thank you so much for supporting Isaiah 117. See you on the trail.